All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is uh, Bill Burr and Joe Rogan. Why you should quit playing video games. Bro, no. Let's go. Explain it at least. How about that? Let's hear him out. Well, the, th the fact that you're doing it and the fact that you're learning a new thing that's really difficult to learn, don't you think that that's good for your brain? No, I am a big believer in constantly learning. It's why I like you as a person because you're constantly like you're not the Joe I knew three years ago in a good way. You're like you, you learn all of this. You know, when I first met you, you weren't hunting. Uh, you were into marsh. That was the thing. You you were, you were two dimensional. You were, which was amazing because everyone was just a comedian. You were this taekwondo champion, uh, stand up guy, mm -hmm. and then and then since then you've added all like the guests that you have on and the fact that you're able to like talk to them and stuff is because you've continued to, you know, um, you know it's it's the same thing with like like a comic who writes his first hour and then just sits on it for like eight years. Yeah, and all of a sudden two presidents goes by and it's like why aren't they laughing anymore? It's like because you're just stuck in well, time. You're stuck. So um, I, I okay I, okay I feel like I get the correlation. Yeah, I believe in that. And I also believe in, in playing cards, card games and stuff is good for your oh, mind. Yeah. And any games they say yeah. even video games. You know, people like to shit on video games, but they say video games have a positive cognitive effect. On kids, yeah, they're calculating some, and moving. You're games. thinking fast. Yeah, their hand-eye coordination is like insane. Yeah. I guess if you, some of those oh, yeah. games, if, right, if, right. if you play them, I guess some I don't games. know. Well, the, you think about the amount of hours they're putting into their thumbs. Just mm. how often do you really use your thumb in like detailed ways? Very yeah. rarely. But kids today, <laughs> they have ridiculous thumb dexterity. I, I tapped out uh, Grand Theft Auto Three, is when I stopped, which was about 2003, 2002, or something. Oh, I just they what? they were just too amazing and i was just like okay. i am nowhere in my career right now and this is just <laughs> dude i was walking around i was living in new york at the time and i would stop playing the game and i would be walking down the street thinking about it like what i could walk oh, into the subway no. you know like not thinking about jokes thinking right. how i could beat this next level and I'm bro this happens to me all the time be honest like so i have been pretty much obsessed over starfield Guys, c completely. And I know my obsession is going to change probably in the next two days when uh, the new crew comes out. So that's one. That's two. So, like, I'm all over the place, guys. I love video games. Um, but I do understand. I mean, listen, um, it can be beneficial. But also at the same time, I feel like it, you're you're wasting your, your time sometimes, guys, right? So, like, you have to kind of, you know, moderate the amount of time you're actually spending playing, playing video games. And, you know, moderate the time you're actually spending learning new things guys right um so i kind of obsess about both of these things guys but either way i remember i played this um medal of honor game that is old and uh they had this thing when you hit the sniper button like the scope would go like that and x would go like that and i, and I, I played it one day uh, one week so much that when i walked out on the street i was looking at people across the street doing like that that x thing was coming <laughs> on my face i was just like there's something about like i already uh I'm not the brightest guy, you know, when it comes to like school. So it's just like, I was like, this is doing something to my brain. So I, I kind of, I, I remember came home and I just unplugged everything, but like, really quickly took everything off because I knew I was never going to figure it out. And I did. Uh, Bill Burr is definitely downplaying himself. I do think that he, uh, he absolutely is intelligent. Plugged everything, but like, really quickly took everything off because I knew I was never going to figure it out and I didn't have the instructions anymore. <laughs> I just stuck it in the back of the closet. <laughs> like, well, that's it. I did the same thing with uh, video games with Quake. Quake. I, I had a real problem oh. when I was playing eight hours a day, ten right. hours a day sometimes. I, uh, I had a T1 line installed in my house just so I could play with a, a fast internet connection. This is like 1998. Yeah. It was crazy. I mean, there was slow internet where I was. So I said, well, what's the options? And so one option is they chew up the street and put this crazy fat business line. It cost me a shitload of money. And I was like, let's do it. <laughs> So wow. I had installed a business line that we'd use at the time. You'd use for a large building, right? And I had it just for my my house. Yeah. Like, so some of you guys, I don't know if you're, you're if you're you're old enough to remember these these errors, this era, guys. Uh, back when like AOL was like a thing, um, I remember having to do something similar to that, but not specifically for you know just playing games, but like in uh, in like 2004, I had to do something like. Uh, T1 also, guys. Uh, and comparing it to now, yeah, terrible speed. And uh, I would play video games all online for all nothing. the time. And You I could play it. online against people for the last 20 years? Oh, yeah. yeah I didn't yeah. know that. We, we'd play online teams. What? We'd have teams of guys, like like me and three of my friends, would play against uh, four other guys. 
and we'd like meet at a certain server, and you know, you you could chat, and talk to each other. All right, yeah. you ready to go? All right, let's go in three, two, one, oh, go. Yeah. And then you know, we'd, the game will start, and and then we we'd have these matches, and it was fun, man. It was really fun. It was really exciting too, because it's all happening in real time. Yeah. But uh, I reached a point. Uh, somewhere around like the year 2000 where I, I know one day I played until it was sunlight until the, the sun came up and you know I'm 30 yeah. years old yeah. and I'm sitting there my hands are sweating <sighs> I'm all caffeinated up I've been drinking uh-huh. uh, Mountain Dew <clears throat> for the past 8 hours and I realized I'm like what am I doing like yeah. this is, I, you know, I'm not where I want to be as a comic I'm not where, where I want to be with my life and uh, I'm just sitting okay. here playing video games all the time, and there's no future in this. Like no. this. I've been stuck in things where there's no future before. I know what that is. I felt like that with fighting. I was, re- I was When I was 21, there was a point in time where I was like, there's no future in this. Like, I'm just going to keep getting hit in the head, and I'm going to yeah. get dumber and more brain damage and more crazy. Right. And I'm like, this is dangerous. And I, I realized, I'm, i got to stop. I gotta stop. There's no future yeah. in this. There was no money in fighting back then either. And then I got there with. There was also no money in like video games. That's why he was saying this back then. But now you can look at like Penguin Zero, guys. Moist Critical. Yeah, all right. Say, say, <laughs> say there's no money in gaming. All right. There's a lot of money in gaming. That man is doing well. All right. Uh, yeah, so just pointing it out. Pool. Same now thing with Pool. Like my manager called me up and he said, I think. You play pool too much. He's like, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, I think that you seriously think about pool more than you do your career. And uh, wow. I respect him, and he's a very good friend of mine. So I had a really, really pause. I didn't, you know, I didn't like, take you, it lightly. Yeah, right, right. I had to take a deep breath, and I was like, he's right. He's yeah. right. I play pool all the time. I was playing every day. I have mm-hmm. a, I have a real addictive personality. I do too. I do too. So I get like, uh, like how many hours I want to get flying, and then like. Uh, things I want to learn playing drums and stuff and then it becomes I, I've had to learn to be like Bill these are hobbies yes yes okay yeah. you're a dad right. first you're not, you're not making money and you're a comedian yep. let's right. sort yep. of prioritize like, the world isn't waiting for you to know how to play good times bad times <laughs> yeah right. that can right. s- sit back a little bit but the fact that you're doing that kind of stuff I think is great I love. I, I really identify with you in a lot of ways. The way right. you do that, when you get crazy about drums, or you get crazy about Cooking, helicopters, yeah, everything. I just, yeah. I just, I go down like, I got to learn all about like. Yeah. All, I- it's over. Oh, okay. That was a abrupt ending, guys. I absolutely love video games. Just speaking of video games for a second here, guys. Again, um, so I started playing super hard. I would say like 2000 and maybe 13 when Grand Theft Auto 5 came out. That was probably like the peak of my like playing hardcore. Um, then we moved from like Grand Theft Auto 5. I basically met a really good group of people on GTA 5 when it first came out. Now it's just toxic. But when it first came out, it wasn't so toxic in 2013, guys, right? Um, so then we all basically moved from that to Destiny. And then we we built kind of like a, a solid raid team, right? And uh, I still play occasionally with my raid team in 2013. Ten years, guys. Ten years of, of like meeting random people on video game, right? And hanging out consistently. They play a lot more than me. I just don't have the time because you know, I run multiple channels, guys, right? But I definitely, well, actually, no, no, no. Um, I will be playing the crew with them, though. So I definitely can't wait. Early access, obviously, guys. Um but again, as of right now, I'm pretty much obsessed with uh, Starfield. Like Star, I've been playing Starfield, bros, for like a week now. I've already beat it twice. <laughs> um, but all right, listen. Either way, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.